brought to you by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries. Coming up next on Changing Your World. He'll take a man that ain't never cried before in his life and he'll touch you on the inside of you and all of a sudden you'll be weeping and don't know how to turn it off and how to stop it because his presence brings everything you'll ever need. You will never be in need as long as you carry his presence. Text to give with Secure Give is a fast, easy way to give from anywhere, anytime. It's just two quick steps. First, text the keyword CDMBC followed by the amount you like to give to 74483. Second, when asked to confirm, just text Y and your transaction is complete. That's all there is to it. Text to give, the fastest, easiest way to give on the go. This is your world. So let's vow to make it a better place. Let every heart that needs to know you love is here to stay. Oh, it's time we live a new life. Let us love shine bright in you. We're saved by His grace, so we embrace your love today. We are changed. 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Simon Peter, a servant and an apostle of Jesus Christ, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, notice what Peter was saying. He was a servant of the, and, and, and an apostle of Jesus Christ to them that have obtained what? Like precious faith with us through the righteousness of God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Verse 2. Now, watch this. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge and the knowing of God. Now, why did I say knowledge and knowing? Because there's no way you're going to read about him, gain knowledge about him, and not eventually know him. See, you don't really know people without at least getting some knowledge about them. It starts somewhere, you know. So, he says what happens is as you begin to get the knowledge and the knowing, say that, say knowledge and knowing. As you begin to get the knowledge and knowing of God and of Jesus Christ, he says, here's what you need to be expecting. Multiplied peace and multiplied grace. So, here's what's going to happen. As you begin to develop this intimacy with God, unmerited favor is going to be multiplied under you. In other words, the more you come to know him, the more you're going to find yourself experiencing things that you didn't deserve. The more you come to know him, the more this undeserved love begins to manifest itself in your life. You won't be able to go and explain exactly how it happened except I've just been learning about him and knowing him, and, and it looks like favor has increased in my life. Now, you know you can't do nothing to earn favor or it wouldn't be favor. But I prophesy over this congregation here and over the stream, get ready for multiplication of grace and peace. Grace and peace. Say grace and peace. Ooh, glory to God. Do you know peace is a blessing? And the devil is going to do everything he can. Well, he's already been doing it. That's what this whole thing's about. He's been doing everything to rob you of your peace. You can't hardly turn the news on because it's, it's, it's infested with, with peace robbers. It do you good to go to that old TV station that played them old Andy Griffith reruns. <laughs> that give you more peace than some of the present stuff they're playing today. Satan is after your peace. The peace that comes from God is the security that you need in the midst of turmoil. Hell freaks out when peace and grace is being multiplied. But you can't, you can't multiply that by your own means. It comes through the knowledge and knowing of Jesus Christ. 
That's why now it's important for us not to just teach a sermon and you take notes. Now it's important for you to have a daily encounter with the presence of God. And, and I'm going to tell you, get ready for it. It won't last long. See, you got to understand the devil's like a, um, the Bible says he's a roaring lion. His teeth have been pulled. He has no claws. He says he, he roars as, as a roaring lion. Didn't say he was. Don't let the roar put fear in you. I'm already telling you, and I believe that example was for us today. I'm already telling you, your decision to be a carrier of the presence of God will attract the fear of the devil. Amen. We mean the fear of the devil. Don't you know the devil scatter you? You got the presence of God. All you need to let him, all you need to do is let him know, look, I got the presence of God. You don't know, you don't want none of this now. And then you don't want none of this now. <laughs> All right, let's go to this next verse. You got this one? Got it? Second Peter, uh, th let's do verse 3. Let me, I forgot verse 3, verse 3. He says, he does this according as his, as his divine power hath given unto us what? All things that pertain unto what? Life and what? Through the, look at there, through the knowledge and the knowing of him that has called us to glory He's called us, that knowledge and knowing of him calls us to glory and it calls us to virtue, which means there'll be supernatural things taking place in your life that you are not going to be responsible for making happen. It's going to come because of a clear decision you made to know him and to, to get the knowledge about him. Amen? Now, 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 18. 2 Peter chapter 3 and verse 18. So awesome. Now watch this. But grow in grace. What? You can grow in this unmerited favor? You can grow in this operation of love? Grow in grace. One of the ways to do that is when you get to know him to such a point you're depending on him all the time. Sometimes throughout the day, one of the ways to engage in the presence of God is to just pause in the midst of an impossible situation and say, Lord, I trust you. Go ahead and say that right now. Say, Lord, I depend on you. He said, grow in grace, and, and, and notice what's attached to growing in grace, and in the knowledge and the knowing. See, we're not going to be wasting our time here this month as we learn about walking in this intimacy, in the knowledge and the knowing uh, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him, to him be glory both now and forever. I tell you, something, something got turned on last week. And I don't know about you, but I ain't trying to find the on-off switch. <laughs> Grow in grace. Say out loud. Grow in, Grow in grace. So every time you're going to start noticing, every time there's a talk about um, growing in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ and getting to know him, you're going to start seeing grace and peace. Grace and peace will be multiplied because you're now growing in the presence of God and your relationship with God. You, you not just don't have knowledge of him only, you know him. You know, there's a lot of Christians who have knowledge of him. They know what this Bible verse says. They know what that Bible says. But do they know him? Because there's going to come a point in everybody's life that he's going to do something that you won't be able to explain. And I don't want to serve a God where I can logically explain everything he does. Mm, I, I want to 
want a God that shows up and does some stuff sometime, and I have no idea how he did it. I'm just glad he did. Now, seriously, do you think you are really qualified to logically explain everything that God does in your life? Because if you think you are, get ready, honey, he's getting ready to do something that you will not be able to logically explain. I want to serve a God that I can't logically explain. I want to serve a God where it's all right that I don't know what you did and how you did it. I want to serve a God that showed up with no announcement but just showed up because I wanted to be a carrier of his presence and none of my knowledge and intellect can explain anything. I saw some stuff I still can't explain. And it's okay because something happened to me. What? I can't articulate it yet, but I ain't never going to be the same. Hallelujah. All I know because of what I carry, it is a threat to every demon force on the planet. And you carry the same thing. I am not limited to carry this. You have made your mind up that you are a carrier of his flames. Hallelujah. You are a carrier of his presence. Hallelujah. And the more you grow in his presence, the more you're going to grow in grace and peace. Grace and peace. You know what that means? That means you can live life and not have to worry about whatever because you got the Lord of whatever. And because he lives in you and you carry him, there will be times that you will pray, and before you can even pray it, God has already done it. Why? just so he can just blow your mind every now and then to let you know I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I am still God. Your seminary schools have not outdone me. I know more than what they think they know. See, some people know more than what they understand. I don't want to know more than what I understand. I just want to know him. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> Y'all ready, man? These are the last days. These are the last days. People talking about it's over with and the church over. Oh, no, 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 no. God's getting ready to raise up a mighty armory of, of people who, who believe him and trust him. Uh, no, 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 no. Do you think God just going to sit back and let the devil get away with what he's what he been doing? No, 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 no. He got to deal with the intercessors. He got to deal with the name of Jesus. He's got to deal with the word of God. He's got to deal with those who carry his flame and release his fire. He's got to deal with those who know their God and they that know their God will do exploits. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm ready to go. Ooh, Jesus. Ooh, Jesus. I know him. Hallelujah. I spent years learning about him. And sometimes all the knowledge I had about him stopped me from knowing him. But I know him. I, I, I sense him. I sense him in this place right now. I, I, I sense him, number one, because he came with me this morning, but I sense him, number two, because I feel like you brought him with you, too. <laughs> hallelujah, Bosha. Hey, hallelujah. And I sense healing going over this place right now. Said it, I about somebody just felt something in your body, hallelujah, and you thought it was a chill. That was the hand of God going up and down that thing. I'm telling you, we're in the presence of the Holy Ghost. Now, it's not going to be like we saw in the past, because last week we closed the circus and we got rid of all the clowns in the aisles. 
ain't playing church no more. This is real. And you don't believe me, go home and spend some time with him. He'll touch you right where you are, all by yourself. He'll take a man that ain't never cried before in his life, and he'll touch you on the inside of you, and all of a sudden you'll be weeping and don't know how to turn it off and how to stop it because his presence brings everything you'll ever need. You will never be in need as long as you carry his presence. Now, to some, well, it just becomes a, another Sunday. That's another word, because they hadn't tapped in yet. They're still trying to understand God from here instead of let God do what he want to do here. You got to let him in your heart. He right there by you, but you got to receive him. You got to receive him when you don't want to. You got to, let me back up, because you got to want to, because you got to, you're a free moral agent, you see. But you got to receive him when you don't feel like it. It's not when I feel happy that I receive him. It's when I don't know which way to turn. It's when I'm seeing stuff with these eyes that you're not supposed to see with these eyes. It's when I'm hearing things with these ears and I'm trying to figure out what's going on. It's when I'm standing back and I'm looking at the whole thing take place and I'm trying to figure out what's happening. It's when demons try their best to take me out and attack me, but they move with caution because they know me. Oh, glory to God. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Every demon ought to know you. Every demon ought to walk up to you and call you by your name. Hallelujah. It gets, it, it's going to get so serious up around here. Oh, my goodness. No more to play church. God going to give us show and tell after show and tell after show and tell until you are convinced that he is God in the building, outside the building, at your house, on your job, in your front door, at your back door. But this ain't no like church, church playing game. You got to walk with him just like I got to walk with him. And I'm trying to show you how. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. I, you know, sometimes people use emotions. I, I ain't got nothing to say nothing about nobody. They do the best they can. But when you know him, you don't have to use things to try to manufacture his presence. Because sometimes his presence is smooth and cool. Don't, don't mistake people. Don't judge people because they ain't moving like you. Sometimes they're just sitting down, bathing in his presence. Glory to God. Sometimes they're just sitting there, soaking in his presence. They're not saying hallelujah. They're not shaking their hands. But, you know, they're sitting there and see the presence, the presence of something. They're sitting there soaking in the presence and, oh, you have to catch it now because they're not doing that thing that you learn to do at your church. A lot of that stuff you learn to do. Praise God. I ask God to help me to unlearn some stuff. I don't want to be caught up in tra the traditions of men and then, and then label the Holy Spirit based on religion. I want to know you to the point that you can whisper something and I can hear it and know that it's done. Hallelujah. Y'all better get ready. You better get ready. The stuff that some of you have been trying for the last, I heard it, five years, God's going to settle it in two months. If, if you stop presuming that you know more than he do. All right, Lord, all right, come on and go with me now, and then I'm going to go on to do. No, 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 no. You don't want to take him to the door and leave him here. Let him go in there with you. Yeah, but I have a tendency when the Holy Ghost comes in that, 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 that you know, I can't control myself. Well, you've been lied to. You can control yourself. The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. See, that's that tradition coming in telling you something that's not true. 
And that's why we got to undo all that. Some of y'all have never seen demons come out of people. That's, that's what I want to show you that so it's real. Okay, and then they'll go back and try to get one stronger than the one that came out because if we don't hurry up and fill that house with God, then something else going to come in. And then some of y'all carrying a little demon right now and you don't even know it, but we're we going we, we gonna to make sure you get clean for this over with. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's that, little, that's that little demonic voice just saying little stupid stuff to you right now and you're trying to keep it quiet. It'll come out in a minute after a while because I'm believing that the presence of God is going to drive it out. Yeah. Look at y'all, y'all scared. You mean, how can you be scared when you have the presence of the Holy Ghost? You're getting ready to find out about this unseen realm that you've not seen. Because even the unseen world knows that things are coming to the end. And the church is not going to be on the sidelines playing circuses. No, we're going to be right slap dab in the middle of it. Somebody said, does it mean we come to the building? I'm not talking about when you come to the building. A lot of this stuff going to happen where you at. You might go on vacation next week and have an encounter on the beach. <laughs> Somebody might come around you and say, ah, you say, hey, 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 in the name of Jesus, loose her free right now. <laughs> and y'all have, have an encounter on the beach. And since the water right there, might as well go and baptize them right now in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, which is none other than the name of Jesus. Some of y'all might have it at the gas station as you're filling your car, and God says, go over there and get that person a tank of gas. And something supernatural happened, and they fell out under the power of God right under, right under the pump, praise the Lord. And the presence of the Lord met you at the gas station. Who do we think we are trying to determine where God ought to meet us and where God ought not to meet us? I'm telling you, he's ready to go with you wherever you go. Not just on Sunday morning and not just in the dome. Your God is real. You remember that old song, Yes, I Can Feel Him in My Soul. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody said, what's going on with him today? Oh, we're ready. We, we, we're preparing for the showdown. Your attitude toward the devil be, I'll be your huckleberry. Come on, you want something of me? You want something of me? What? What? Show down. Show down. I done put up with this, and I done put up with that, and I done carried this, and I've been worried about that, and I've been heavy over this, and I've been trying to figure out where that money going to come from. Oh, I've been hurt from that. I hadn't been able to cover from this for 30, 40 years. Oh, no, 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 no. All of this is over. Shout, it's over! Oh, y'all sense the Holy Ghost in here, don't you? Y'all sense the Holy Ghost in here, huh? Lift your hands up and say, thank you, Holy Spirit, I receive you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, I receive you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, I receive you. Hey, 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 hey. All right, now watch this. Look at this now. Go to John 1, verse 1 and verse 14. John 1, verse 1 and, and verse 14. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm praying that people Meet the real God. I don't want them to die in religion. Die playing church. Die thinking they are knowing it. And don't even know who God is. Most powerful thing we can do is pray. You know why? Jesus got up and prayed every morning. Now, if Jesus got up, a great, the Bible says, the great time before day to pray, how you, how you figure we don't need to do that? 
Is something missing in your life, even though everything is technically okay? Is something off, even though your job and home lives are thriving? Through this three-message series, How to Live in the Presence of God, Creflo Dollar explains how purposely living in the presence of God transforms us into our best self in every aspect of life. There's an intimate knowing of God, and it goes beyond a sermon, a song, a dance, and a shout. When you're walking in the presence of God and learning how to live and abide in the presence of God, you're going to see manifested Word. Some of it you asked for, some of it you didn't ask for. You will never be in need as long as you carry His presence. Call the number on your screen or visit the e-store at www.creflodollarministries.org to get your copy for a love gift of 20 U.S. dollars or more, plus shipping and handling. Get your copy today and learn to live life fully. Welcome to A Place Built For You. where finding grace messages to watch is easy. He wants you to rejoice and to enjoy that all your sins have been taken care of. Where your spiritual needs are met. Where you can access CYWN anytime you want. Where exclusive content is accessible 24 hours a day. Where getting spiritually fed anytime you want feels fulfilling, uplifting, simple. There's a great harvest that's been prophesied for centuries of time. The wealth of the wicked, how I many you know that transfer must take place? But you know what? We've got to make room for the new. Welcome to the Creflo Dollar Ministries TV app. Visit your Roku, Amazon, or Apple TV app store and download the Creflo Dollar Ministries TV app now to start streaming for free. For more information, visit creflodollarministries.org. Everything in God's kingdom works by faith. Now, I remember when Taffy and I started giving, it was a painful thing to give because we didn't have much at all financially. However, we made a decision to be givers. And one of the most quoted scriptures in the Bible is John 3:16, God so loved the world that he gave. Therefore, as Christians, we give. Our giving is an expression of our love. And when you support Creflo Dollar Ministries financially, you are giving to our efforts to spread the gospel all over the world. And in addition to helping millions who are hurting and have vital physical needs, pray about what God would have you to sow at this time. We want to thank you in advance for your support. To support the vision of this ministry to reach the world with the gospel of grace, you may call in to make your financial donations or log on to creflodollarministries.org. God bless you. Because of you, Preflo Dollar Ministries is providing a new understanding of grace and empowering change in the lives of millions of people every day. Thank you, partners and friends. Your love and financial support makes it possible to bring this message into millions of homes all across the globe. The preceding program was brought to you by the partners and friends of Creflo Dollar Ministries.